Hey everybody, welcome to another Boom In and Zoom In class. Uh, today's class you will need a chair and a pillow or a couch cushion and today we're using a ladder for some of the exercise that we're going to do but you could use some imaginary lines or set up some tape or do it in your kitchen on the tile, anything that you can um, to maybe step over would be good. Always remember that we don't want you to fall, we don't want you to hurt yourself, so um, make sure that you stay safe and modify anything that you need to. So join us again for another day of Boomin' and Zoomin'. Hannah's gonna help us out as well. So here we go, let's get started with just a little warm up. Uh, we're gonna start with just marching. We're gonna march in place. So just lift those knees up as high as you can get them. We'll get our arms just moving a little bit. We're excited to see you again. Hope you're all staying safe and enjoying time with your spouses or your children or, yourself. or your dogs, <laughs> cats, or yourself. We're gonna try to keep our distance from each other. We miss everybody. Looking forward to the day we can get back to the gym. Let's get in the little squat position we're gonna punch. So let's just punch across our body. Just some punches across our body. Get a little twist in that torso. Get all your aggressions out right now. Here's to Corona. Punch you, Corona. <laughs> Keep it up. We're going a minute with these punches. My elbow's cracking. Keep it going, keep it going. Keep punching, keep warming that, those arms up, that torso, let's go 10 more seconds. Good, let's do a little side steps. So we're gonna side step and get our arms moving. Up. I'm going to get in front of her a little bit so I don't smack her or get too close. So step touches with our arms, lifting to the side and up, getting those hips warmed up, getting those shoulders warmed up. Keep it going. Step touches. You can even clap at the top if you like. Claps and clap. Tom is smiling at us in the background. That's why our faces are getting really cheery. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Let's go 10 more seconds of this. Keep that warm body getting warmed up. All right, let's do a little heel to toe rock and roll. So we're gonna go up on our toes, back on our heels, up on our toes and back on our heels. Toes and heels. Let's get our arms moving forward and back as we're rocking on those toes and those heels. So again, just getting those shoulders warmed up, getting our ankles warmed up. Good job, guys. This really changes your balance a little as well. If you can't lift those arms, that's fine. And if you need to hold on a chair, that's fine too. Keep going. You guys are doing great. Okay. 
Okay, now that we've got our heart rate going a little bit, let's do some stretching. Today we're going to do stretching standing, but you're more than welcome to sit down if you need to at any time during these stretching uh, exercises. So, here we go. Let's start with our neck and we'll go all the way down to our toes. Here we go. Let's look over our right shoulder and our left shoulder. Let's look up to the ceiling. down to the floor. Right ear to right shoulder. And left ear to left shoulder. Good. Let's take our fingers and push our forehead back and look up to the ceiling. And put our hands on the back of our head and push down, chin to chest. And let's turn that chin slightly forward and pull down. Good, and let's switch sides and pull that chin slightly forward, almost like you're pulling it towards your opposite foot. And then just pull down, stretching that neck. Good, let's extend our hands. We're going to stretch the fingers and then make a fist. Stretch the fingers and then make a fist. Stretch the fingers, make a fist. Make, stretch the fingers, <laughs> make a fist. Fingers, fist, and one more time. Good, let's just do some wrist circles. So make that fist and circle those wrists. And then switch direction. Good, let's shake those fingers out. Let's take our right arm, extend it out, palm is down, elbow is straight. Take your left hand and pull down on the hand. So it looks like that. Good, palm is up and pull down. And switch arms. Palm down first, keep the elbow straight and pull that hand down. Palm up and pull down. Good, let's take that right arm and let's bring it across our body and stretch the back of our shoulder. Bring our elbow up, reach behind our back and pull down on that elbow. Let's switch sides, pull that left arm into our chest. Bring that elbow up, reach behind your head, pull down on the elbow. Good. Where you're standing, I want you to take your right hand and reach over to your left side. Keep your chest pointing forward and stretch the side of your torso. So just reach and then we'll reach to the other side. So reach as far as you can go. And again. And one more time. Reach, reach, reach. Good, let's reach for the ceiling. Down to our toes and hold. Reach for the ceiling and down to our toes and hold. One more time. Reach for the ceiling, down to our toes, hold. Good, let's uh, put our hands on our hips. And we're gonna do just a little bit of twisting of our torso. So each time you twist, try to look over that shoulder. Up here, not sure what what that's what that's all about. Let's do a little twist of our hips. 
some hip circles. So we're just going to circle those hips. And then let's circle the other direction. Good. Let's go ahead and go down to the ground. We're going to get on all fours. Our knees are going to be directly under our hips and our hands are going to be directly under our shoulders. Okay. We're going to slowly inhale and tuck our chin and tailbone as we arch that back up into the air. Good. And then we're going to exhale it out, lift our head and our tailbone and arch your back. Then we're going to inhale, tuck our head and tailbone, arch right over back. Exhale, lift our head and our tailbone. This is cat cow. And lift it up. Really get that upper back and lower back loosened up. Excellent job. Let's go ahead and lift our left knee and bring it forward. Now, if this is too hard, you can get up on your chair and do a hip flexor stretch on the chair that just similarly to what we did last week in another Boom and Zoom in video. But here we're going to do it on the floor. You can also put a pillow under your knee like Hannah has um, just to give that knee some cushioning. But what we're going to do is we're going to bend this front knee forward until we feel, and I'm actually going to do it Okay, and we're going to stretch that hip flexor. And we're just going to rock back and forth. So we're going to push into that front knee, stretch, come back. And I'm also holding onto a chair, which can help for more stability. Let's switch. So now your opposite knee is forward, and we're going to again just keep that back knee stationary as we come forward. Also, try not to bend forward too much in your torso. switch again. Okay? Now I want you to bring both knees into your chest and pull a little bit out with those knees. Okay? I want you to hold that position and then I want you just to rock side to side. So we're rocking side to side. Then I want you to drop those knees to whichever side you want to. I'm doing it to my right. And then I want you to bring your hands to the opposite side. And I want you to hold that position. And then we're going to switch. We're going to switch one more time on this side. And then switching one more time. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and get 
get to standing. Rotate your knees to the side, push up with your hands, come around the tabletop, lift that foot and knee and stand up. Good job, everybody. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and get started on a little circuit. We're gonna do three rounds. Each exercise is gonna be for one minute, okay? So just kind of follow along um, with us at home and we're gonna um, start on the wall. We're gonna do a wall sit for a minute. So Hannah and I are gonna come around just under this lovely purple blanket. <laughs> we're gonna take a couple steps away from the wall. Our backs are against the wall. We're gonna slide down. Once I feel my quads engage, I can stop here or I can keep going if I wanna make it more intense. Whatever's comfortable for you, make sure the knees are behind the toes. Make sure your low back is pressed into the wall. If your arms are at the side, we're gonna hold this position. Also try not to lean forward. One minute. Our legs are a little, we're a little tender. sore, yes, from the night before. Well, I think from exercising every, every day, day, actually. <laughs> And for those of you getting this video who don't know, we have been doing Facebook Live classes every day. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday are a moderate intensity class at 10 a.m. Tuesday and Thursday evenings at 6 p.m. we've been doing a more high intensity class. All you have to do is follow along our Motion for Life page on Facebook. 10 more seconds. Try turning your head. As soon as you turn your head, woo, start to get off balance. All right, let's go ahead and switch. So holding on, get your positioning, lift that leg, and we'll let go in three, two, and one. Let go. I let go like 10 seconds ago. I know. Well, you're young. So we're going to make her hold that position for longer. But seriously, if you turn your head, start turning your head. And then all of a sudden, woo, everyone at home knows that. <laughs> Keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Okay. Push-ups. So you can do this on the wall, which I think Hannah's going to go ahead and do it on the wall. You could do this in your kitchen. If you're in the kitchen doing this exercise, do it on your countertop. If you do not have that, you could do it on your table. But whatever height you want to choose, I'm going to use the back of this chair. We're going to do push-ups for a minute. All right, so we're going to be stepping away from the chair, away from the wall. 
Our hands are in line with our shoulders, and we're going to bend our elbows and come in towards the wall, chair, or counter, and then push ourselves away. Keep that belly nice and tight. Don't sag at the hips. So we're going to start round two on the wall with the wall sit. So again, back is against the wall. Step a couple steps away from the wall. Lower yourself down. Back is pressed against the wall. Arms are at your side and hold for one minute. chair, lift your leg, soft planted knee, three, two, one, let go, 30 seconds.
exercises and you guys are done. Single leg balance on your pillow. All right. My right leg is planted. My left leg is up. Holding under the chair. Let go now. 30 second hold. Switch legs, lift that other leg, and let go. This is my bad sign. <laughs> Keep going, everybody. You're doing great. Ten seconds. Push up now. 
One minute. Good job, good job. We're, we're halfway. Fifteen seconds. Keep going, Hannah. And you guys at home, ten seconds. You got it. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you had fun with this workout and we'll see you next time.